Hidden in La Purisima Street, where the present Metropolitan Cathedral stands, stood out as a school that rivaled other private schools in the city, both in enrollment and academic excellence. It was immensely popular during that time, with its enrollment reaching a staggering 1,800 students, considering that they solely offer an elementary curriculum. It was due to this remarkable achievement and the lack of available space for expansion that then Director of ISIS, the late Monsignor Edwin A. Sebastian, decided to take action, prompted by the revelation that the majority of the enrollees hailed from within the city and the West Coast, stretching as far as Sinuno, Ricodo, Ayala, Tanisayan, San Ramon, and even Nabuan. The stretch of land on both sides of the road, extending from San Jose Road, Barangay San Roque, intersection up to South Coast Village, belong to the Archdiocese of Sambuanga. Hence, a piece of property in the West Coast area is highly visible for a school extension. Previously, there was a seminary situated beside the current elementary department of the ICAS de Calaria. However, during that period, the seminary was relocated to Tetuan. Consequently, the area became vacant, presenting a promising opportunity for the late director to establish a school. And so, Western Immaculate Conception Arts Diocesan School was founded in the year 1993, 30 years ago as an extension of ISIS with its founder and the first school director, the late Reverend Monsignor Edwin A. Sebastian and the late Archbishop Francisco R. Cruces D.B. as the Archdiocese and School President who gave his support and blessing. Consequently, Catholic education was afforded in the west coast of the city using the educational framework of ISIS which include its philosophy, vision, mission, objectives, and goals during that time. Adhering to the standards set by the Department of Education, including the basic education curriculum, the school has tailored its syllabus to suit the student's level. ISIS teachers who resided nearby were transferred to WICAS. The principal of ISIS then was Pam Dawami has been instrumental in the beginning until Mount Victoria Orian, a tech supervisor, took over with Mr. Salvador R. Alvarez as designated prefect of discipline. From then on, big gatherings of ISS were done in collaboration with WICAS, such as Panaro, Family Day, Children's Day, Director's Day, and others were held at WICAS due to its spacious area. The gymnasium-like structure of WICAS, situated a sprawling 7,500 square meters, started only with 150 students and with five faculty members, handling two sections in first year, Kinder 1 and 2, and Grades 1 and 3 respectively. A registrar and a cashier were stationed as part of a future plan of sustaining personnel independently from the mother school ISIS. The administrative lineup of personnel was completed during the school year 1996 and 1997 when Mrs. Dolores R. Cruz was appointed head of the school. She took over the reins as principal from Mrs. Victoria Orian, a former tech supervisor who in turn took over from Mrs. Ida B. Dawami. Succeeding years after its inception saw the curriculum being completed, both for elementary and secondary department. In 1997, WICAS produced its first ever batch of graduates in the two levels of academic program. Some 14 toddlers marched to the next scholastic life, whereas whereas 64 students graduated from the secondary level of the academic program. And in 1998, 43 pupils made the first graduation from the elementary course. The new millennium saw changes and challenges of the times. 
we cast the welcome the threshold of his transformation with the advent of Great Jubilee 2000. After the school board met last August 2000, presided over by Archbishop Carmelo D. N. Morelos, it saw the designation of Reverend Father Jonathan A. Duca as his second school director. Another milestone came in May 2003 after the major reassignment of the Archdiocese and Priest. Right Reverend Monsignor the Big M. Alonso was appointed as the third director of the school with Reverend Father Leslie Tahi as the assistant director and Mrs. Dolores R. Cruz as school principal. Major changes were made, especially in the structure of the building and in the name of the school to Immaculate Conception Archdiocese School de Calarina. In 2009, the newly designated Archbishop of Zamboanga, Most Reverend Romulo G. Valles, finally designated Reverend Father Leslie Tati as the new school director, following his six years stint as being the assistant director under the mentorship of Right Reverend Monsignor the Big M. Alonso. Several additions and improvements have been made, including a new building for computer laboratory with separate rooms for elementary pupils and high school students, a larger canteen with installed audiovisual equipment, parents' lounge, a student center for outdoor classroom activities, a fully equipped science laboratory, and a fully equipped technology and library education room located at the newly leased area, which also houses the Franciscan Sisters, where one of them is our campus ministry coordinator. The number of classrooms were also augmented to accommodate the increase of enrollees. Modern instructional aids were procured to ensure high quality of learning. During the Holy Week Christian Mass, year 2015, Archbishop Romulo de la Cruz D.D. appointed Reverend Father Joel S. Malcampo as the new school director. He was installed during the celebration of the Holy Spirit Mass on June 18, 2015. It was during the year 2015 that the school acquired a permit to operate for the first implementation of the senior high school program with government permit number 0075 series of 2015. The school offered the four strands in the academic tracks, namely science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, humanities and social science, UMS, and accountancy and business management, ABM and General Academic Strand Track Class. March 22, 2016 was a significant milestone for the school because the first batch of completers for junior high school marched for the first moving up completion ceremonies. Four additional classrooms were built to accompany the students who will be the first batch for the senior high school. Working very hard and with so much dedication, Father Joel S. Malcampo with some personnel have finally completed putting up rooms and procured facilities for the senior high the year 2017. ICAS de Galerina is offering a holistic formation from kindergarten to grade 12. In March of 2019, COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected the educational landscape of learning institutions and several modalities of teachings and learning came about. Hybrid mode of learning was adopted until 2021 when the school had undergone a transition in administration and ICAS Incorporated came to be. In the year 2021-2022, all Archdiocesan schools were under the leadership of Bishop Moises N. Cuevas, D.D. and Vice Presidents for Finance, Academics, a human resource was created. Monsignor Maximo A. Campo was the Vice President for Finance. Father Elmer G. Subile was the Vice President for Academics. And Father Leslie Tari was the Vice President for Administration and Human Resource. The three Vice Presidents took turns for a week in managing each school. However, after careful consideration of the new setup, the ICAS School Board decided to bring back the former administrative framework where the director heads the school. 
School Year 2022-2023 gave Father Elmer G. Sumile the opportunity to lead ICAS de Calarian. Several physical improvements transpired on his first year of leadership. Two grade one classrooms were renovated into a fully air-conditioned room with restrooms for preschoolers. Two grade three classrooms were newly constructed with a faculty lounge, computer laboratory, and a library. A rainwater collector was constructed to resolve flooding of the school campus during rainy days. And at the same time, it produced a sustainable water supply that serves a wide range of essential functions and daily requirements, such as transportation washing, foliage of vegetation and irrigation, cleaning and sanitation of the restroom, and hosting out dirt and dust from the playing course of the students. Furthermore, a new passageway was cleared for service vehicles to drive through around the campus for ease of traffic every morning and every dismissal time and to expedite bringing of equipment and other instructional materials to and from other departments. In addition, several offices were renovated to serve the clients more efficiently. Furthermore, in order to promote a holistic development of the students, the school administration has placed an increased emphasis on sports, music, and arts while maintaining a strong focus on academics. To address learning loss and learning gap due to the pandemic, an in-house achievement test was implemented and remedial support was offered for those who did not meet the standard. With the support of the Archdiocese of Zamboanga, facilitated by the discerning bishop of Bishop Moises M. Cuevas, the institution has acquired additional physical space for expansion. As a result, the school is actively seeking for a larger number of employees with the help of our patron, the Blessed Immaculate Conception. It is worth mentioning that Philip Cruz, who was a multitasking as school maintenance personnel and electrician, stand out as a pioneering picture in this journey, who was here during the ups and downs and definitely contributed significantly to the school development. He witnessed everything from the very beginning until how it is now. Kudos to Philip, who withstand all the challenges in school has gone through. The same can be said to Mrs. Maribel Francisco, who was here when it all started. However, she was reassigned to Ica Sangali for a few years and subsequently came back to Wicas when the director of Ica Sangali, Reverend Father John A. Luka, became the director of Wicas. To quote, Mom Dolores Cruz. Fortunately, the school is now under the guidance of and of dedicated individuals with a strong commitment to its welfare. The current team possesses the vision and heart to ensure a positive future for Wicas. Now, I cast the Galeria. We extend heartfelt gratitude to the contributors of the packs and pieces of our school history. Madame Dolores Arcus, Reverend Father Elmer G. Sumile, Philip Arcus, Mrs. Maribel N. Francisco, and Mr. René C. Herolaga. Your invaluable contributions have enriched our understanding of our school journey. Thank you and good evening.